Hello, investors. Welcome back to Alpha ETF, the coolest YouTube channel for ETF reviews. I'm your host, and today I'm going to review the Stracker's Artificial Intelligence and Big Data Usage ETF 1C. This is an ETF that invests in companies that are involved in artificial intelligence, big data and cybersecurity. Sounds exciting, right? But is it a good investment? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the expense ratio. This is how much the ETF charges you for managing your money. The lower, the better. This ETF has an expense ratio of 0.35% per year, which is not bad, but not great either. It's slightly higher than the average for technology ETFs, which is around 0.3%. So, I'm going to give it a score of 6 out of 10 for expense ratio. Not too shabby, but not too impressive either. Now, let's look at the fund size. This is how much money the ETF has under management. The bigger, the better. This ETF has a fund size of around 600 million euros, which is pretty decent, but not huge. It's bigger than some of its competitors, but smaller than others. It's also relatively young, as it was launched in January 2019. So, I'm going to give it a score of 7 out of 10 for fund size. Not too small, but not too big either. Next, let's talk about volatility. This is how much the ETF's price fluctuates over time. The lower, the better. This ETF has a volatility of 26% over one year, which is quite high. It means that the ETF can go up or down a lot in a short period of time. This can be good if you like risk and excitement, but bad if you prefer stability and safety. So, I'm going to give it a score of 4 out of 10 for volatility. Not too calm, but not too crazy either. Then, let's look at the sector slash country slash theme exposure. This is how diversified the ETF is across different industries, regions and topics. The more diversified, the better. This ETF tracks an index that includes companies from various sectors such as software, hardware, internet and biotechnology. It also covers companies from different countries such as the US, China, Japan and Germany. And it focuses on a theme that is very relevant and trendy, artificial intelligence and big data. So, I'm going to give it a score of 9 out of 10 for sector slash country slash theme exposure. Very diverse and very interesting. Finally, let's talk about performance. This is how well the ETF has done in terms of returns over time. The higher, the better. This ETF has had a mixed performance since its inception. It had a great start in 2019, but then it suffered a big drop in 2020 due to the pandemic. It recovered somewhat in 2021, but then it declined again in 2022 due to market volatility and regulatory issues in China. Overall, it has done okay, but not amazing. So, I'm going to give it a score of 5 out of 10 for performance. Not too bad, but not too good either. So, what's the verdict? Let's add up all the scores and divide by 5 to get the final score for this ETF. 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9 plus 5 equals 31. 31, 5 equals 6.2. So, the final score for this ETF is 6.2 out of 10. That means that this ETF is above average, but not outstanding. It has some strengths, such as its diversification and its theme exposure, but also some weaknesses, such as its volatility and its performance. So, should you invest in this ETF? Well, that depends on your personal preferences and goals. If you are looking for a high-risk, high-reward investment that gives you exposure to some of the most innovative and cutting-edge companies in the world of artificial intelligence and big data, then this ETF might be for you. But if you are looking for a low-risk, low-cost investment that gives you stable and consistent returns over time with minimal fluctuations and fees, then this ETF might not be for you. 
As always, do your own research before investing and don't take my word for granted. And that's it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome ETF reviews. And if you have any questions or comments about this ETF, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them. I love hearing from you and interacting with you. Also, if you want to support my channel and help me grow, please share this video with your friends and family who might be interested in ETF investing. It would mean a lot to me and it would help me reach more people. And don't forget to check out my other videos where I review more ETFs from different categories and themes. You might find some hidden gems that suit your portfolio. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay cool and keep investing. Bye.